Dear beloved people, I greet you all in the name of Jesus Christ. I believe that you are doing well. God has kept a gracious boundaries around you. He is protecting you and nothing will harm you. Amen. In all your going out and coming in, all the labor of your hands, He has commanded blessing upon you. Every day when you pray, say to God that, Lord, I commit this day into your hand. Don't go out of your house without praying like this. God's gracious mercies will guide you and lead you. What is the verse for the day? Let's read from Acts chapter 5 and third verse. The verse says like this, Why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie to the Holy Ghost? The ninth verse we read, Peter answered unto her, How it is that you have agreed together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? Two things which we should be very alert. Never lie. Because God never likes it. Secondly, don't tempt God. Two questions are raised here. One is, why you spoke lie to the Holy Spirit? And secondly, why you agree together to tempt the Spirit of the Lord? This morning, if you are hearing this message, maybe after the morning, I tell you whatever time it is, don't tempt the Spirit of the Lord. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there the liberty is. So don't do anything against the Spirit of the Lord. Don't lie, don't tempt by your tongue. Be faithful in His presence. The Bible says a faithful man will receive all the blessings. If a person wants to be rich, he will never escape from the punishment. Always guard your tongue and then never tempt the Spirit of the Lord. Pray to Him, Lord, help me to live a life like that. Never allow me to miss your presence, Lord. Tell Him that, Lord, you help me. You help me, Lord. Oh, Lord, on that day, Anani and Sapphira, they were in a good church. But they were so weak in money matters. The spirit of money, the spirit of greediness they had. You should pray that, Lord, I should not have the love of money. I should not be so greedy in money matters. Help me, Lord, to overcome it. If you commit to the Lord by praying this way, the devil can't deceive you. Praise be to God. We should never have the love of money. We should always be content with what we have and the blessings will come in search of you. This is the word of the day. So let's pray for that now. Our loving Heavenly Father, you are the God who has authority over heaven and earth. We come to your feet and I pray along with your children. Lord, Ananias and Sapphira, they fell in the love of money, greedy. Lord, for the love of money is the root of all evil. While some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves. Lord, this is what Paul writes to Timothy. Even we should be very alerted, Lord. Let your children be very alerted in money matters. Let goodness and mercy follow your children, Lord. Let them be guided and upholded by your right hand. Let many thousands they need, you are the God who will give to your children, Lord. As we lift up our eyes unto the hills, I lift up my eyes and hands for your children, Lord. Bless them. Bless them abundantly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's name be glorified. God bless you. Don't forget to share to others. You can send all your comments and prayer requests in all the languages, in Hindi, English, Tamil or Sinhalam. We are ready to pray for you. Thank you. God bless you. Our address, Jesus Meets Ministries, number 4, Kavarapalaya Main Road, Abadi, Chennai 54, India. Telephone number 9841252836, Email ID, gpsrobinson at hotmail.com gps.office at jesusmeets.org Website address www.gpsrobinson.org